Hey everybody and welcome back to our YouTube channel, the channel that keeps you informed with all things property. I find it strange that many agents work in an area in which they don't live. If you go back in time, maybe 30, 40 years, it was all about localism. So there would be a butcher, a baker, and there'd also be a property person. It would be word of mouth, that person would be the trusted local expert to sell, to let, or to do all property related activities. In these changing times, I'm sensing a new reversion to localism. And I really believe that if you're a property agent and you want to grow your business, you need to start looking close to home. And in this video, we're going to talk about why you should be doing this. But not only that, we're going to talk about the best ways to go about growing your business on your local patch. They say sometimes the old fashioned ways work best. And this one is certainly old fashioned, but it still works well. And that is flyer drops. Obviously, you can pick an area, you can pick a number of streets and you can start putting flyers through people's post boxes. But you've got to think a little bit uh, out of the box other than that. Coffee shops, places you have brunch, maybe in the post office on the notice board, local shops. Really, you've got to get the word out there and flyers are a great way to do this. The important things to remember when designing the flyer are make sure they stand out, make sure your face is on it, and make sure most importantly of all, it says that you are in the local area. You probably live just down the street from this person and you want to tell them that you're in the local area, you have a wide range of services you can offer and you can look after their property for them. The next thing worth considering is sponsoring a local community event. This could be a sporting event, maybe there's a local Rugby Sevens tournament for instance, it could be sponsoring a school fete, a church fete, any sort of gathering that gets your name out there in a relatively low cost uh, manner and then you can talk to people after that event. They will be grateful that you have sponsored the community, that you're taking part in the community. That's going to be a great way for you to make contacts and maybe pick up some business. Now, if you don't want to do flyers and the more old-fashioned methods, maybe social media is more your thing, get on apps such as Nextdoor, any local Facebook groups, get involved on those. You'll be, a great, again, great way to meet people, make new contacts, and get your business name out there. And don't forget, it's so cheap to run targeted ads. Um, you can reach many, many people for just a, a small amount of money. So get yourself on there, get meeting people, and then you can start targeting on social media. Now, for those of you who have children, super simple way to grow your property business in your local area, get involved at school. It's a well-known fact that as kids grow older, they grow bigger, people have more children, and people always have to move house. And at school, is going to be an amazing way to meet people who have changing requirements, changing property needs. So, whether it's PTA meetings, uh, after-school sports clubs, uh, events, Christmas events, Christmas plays, get involved with school, meet other parents, go for coffee mornings with other parents and get involved because this is going to be a great way you'll find out what is going on in people's lives, why their requirements are changing, why they may need more space, why they have to sell, why they have to move. Actually this would be my top tip is to if you're a parent, if you have kids at school, get involved as much as you can and you'll make some fantastic contacts. And next I want to talk about partnering with other local businesses. There'll be tons of businesses in your local area that will have a lot of synergy with the property market. I mean, let's think about it. Locksmiths. You could get talking to your local locksmith. They will know landlords. They will know property owners. Your local solicitor. You can, do, you can partner up and you can do a deal whereby maybe you get a lead on fresh probates in the area. And then there's electricians and tradespeople in general. These people are always dealing with people who have property. They'll be dealing with landlords who have multiple properties. Get to know these people and this will be a good way to get your foot in the door. You can even uh, maybe start a referral scheme. However it is, get talking to your local businesses and they will be able to introduce you to property owners. So there are just a few tips of what you can do if you want to bring your business closer to your home and start growing it. Now the key thing I would say, the key takeaway from all of this is you have to talk to people. You have to communicate. You have to get yourself and your business out there. You have to promote yourself. You have, must market yourself. As with most things in life, if you sit back, things aren't just going to happen. Life is not that kind. You have to go for it. Put your best foot forward and start talking to people. Talk to local businesses. Get involved at the local school. Get involved with community groups. And that way, you only start to do one or two deals and then you'll get the best thing of all which is word of mouth. And when your phone starts ringing, 
that's when that you know that you've got a good business on your hands. <laughs> so that wraps it up for today's video. I hope you found it useful and I hope you picked up some good tips that will help you bring your property business a little bit closer to your home. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. You can find our social media uh, links just down below. And as always, if you have any thoughts and comments, please let us know. And we'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.